Hi everyone, it's Karen here for 7 Dot Studio with a step-by-step -step two card tutorial using their homegrown and fortune teller collections. Enjoy! I cut the homegrown wool paper in half to create two 6x6 six six cards. Then I used some of the 6x6 six six paper pad papers and cut them around the edges so I could add them as a square to the card. Of course, I never waste anything, so the strips that I cut I used as embellishments too. I used some blue tinged distressing to edge my papers, but you could use any ink at this stage just so to add a little bit of framing. I place the smaller squares on top of the big squares using some foam tape so they would stick out in a 3D form. Then I just glued the strips on top of the card. I wanted to create some texture, so I used the Umwow Studio Homegrown Tick Marks stencil with some light paste from Prima just to create a little bit of texture in the background. While the paste was still a little bit wet, I added some Celestial embossing powder from Bluefin Studios and I used the same embossing powder with the Amwell chipboard from the Fortune Teller collection, the Sun and Moon and the Dreamcatcher. After I heat emboss the Celestial Embossing Powder, I use Lufren Studios Peacock Embossing Powder to add some turquoise highlights. I sprayed the background using a shimmery spray from Prima Marketing. Using some soft gloss gel, I added it with a paintbrush and then I sprinkled some fine glitter to add some shimmer to the background. I used the homegrown stamp to add some extra texture with some black archival ink. Mm -hmm. 
Then I use the soft gloss gel again to add some turquoise glass beads to the cards. I also use the soft gloss gel to add a little bit of shimmer to the chipboard and sprinkled some glitter onto the pieces. I glue the chipboard pieces to the cards using the soft gloss gel. Then I glued two word stickers from the Fortune Teller collection onto each card. I also added some matching glittery gemstones to the background and glued them with the gel. I use a black Molotow acrylic marker just to highlight the words and then I use a black gelato to frame the card. I just rubbed it around the page and then blended it with my fingers. I wanted to add some white splatters onto the background so I used some white gesso and mixed it with water and used a splatter brush but the splatters were not big enough so I took a white alcohol ink and I sprinkled it on the background and created these very large beautiful splatters. Then I took the turquoise glittery stickles and added some gems around the chipboard and in the background and the same thing I did with the white pearl accents and added some little pearls onto the background. Here are some close-ups of my cards. Hit the link above if you want to see another one of my 7 Dot Studio videos. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye!